client, Chef Dev, joins me in studio now, which is great. So, but yeah, give me some love. I thought we would talk a little bit about what happens when you're not in the kitchen, when you're not at work and you get a day to yourself. What is the meal that you like to serve yourself? What do you make? This is one of my awesome go-to dishes that I always make at home. It's yeah. a pasta carbonara. A lot of people here say carbonara, but carbonara is the way to pronounce it. Carbonara. Try carbonara. Carbonara. We'll try it again next time. I'm not very good with the R's, <laughs> rolling the R's. So, That's a genetic thing, you know, like the, the rolling of the R. I, I think it, it is. I think it is, but yeah. practice makes perfect. Okay. The cool thing with this dish is that generally at home, for me, I'll mm -hmm. always have eggs. So I'll always have egg yolks. Me too. I'll always have black pepper. Yeah. And I'll always have some kind of pork fat like, like bacon. Yes. So carbonara typically has guanciale, which is pork gel cured. Okay. But pancetta is a very often substitute mm. that you're always gonna find. Mm -hmm. Pancetta differs from bacon in the sense that it is cured but it is not smoked like bacon would be. Okay. So this is generally raw, like yeah. bacon is, whereas prosciutto would not be raw anymore, right? Okay, so uh, this is the meal he fat. makes for himself when he's at home, and this is the meal we're gonna walk you through um, right now, That's because it. it looks like a mountain of pasta, so I'm in. I'm invested. <laughs> I is, like this. That's kind of what it is. Mm. Uh, so we have some base scallops over here. Okay. Just the same way you have all different types of shrimp sizes, yeah. the same thing applies to scallops. You have U10s, which are under 10 per pound. You know, base scallops, you can have 30 to 50 per pound. So I just have some regular vegetable oil here. Okay. If you use extra virgin olive oil at home, you may damage those beautiful characteristics in that cold press extra virgin olive oil, okay? So you want to be careful with that. That should just be used for vinaigrettes, dressings, topping, risotto, stuff like that, right? Okay. Everyone knew that already though, right? Totally. Okay, cool. So we're gonna drop, yeah, <laughs> oh, maybe not. So I'm gonna drop a whole bunch of these scallops in there. I have some uh, spaghetti, regular spaghetti that, that was cooked in there. Mm -hmm. The box told me seven to eight minutes. Okay. So would you cook it seven to eight minutes? Well, it depends. No, you're not going to. You want it all done, cook it. You're gonna cook it a couple minutes before that. I always okay. find it's better to pull your pasta, at least check it long before you think it's ready. Okay. Especially with this application, we're gonna continue cooking it a little bit with the pasta water. Mm -hmm. So we want it pulled just before al dente. Okay. And if you don't wanna do these one at a time at home, you can just pour it in there. But Yeah, like this, this is looks... very meticulous. But are but you doing that for a reason? I'm doing this for one doing this for one portion, so I don't want too many in there. Okay. Um, generally, my portions are a lot larger than most people. People. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and also the pancetta, you want to render this out slowly, or the guanciale, or the bacon if you have bacon at home. Okay. If you're vegetarian, you can skip this step. But you want to render the fat out slowly. And what that means is we'll put it on a low temperature to slowly coerce the fat out of it. Okay. If you cook it on a high heat, it's going to burn too quickly. You want to slowly get the fat out of it, okay? You have to massage the fat exactly. out of it. So I don't know if we can get a shot up of this, but Very this, is, nice. this is exactly what you want to do. This took me yeah. about 10 to 12 minutes. So you see that there? It's not burnt. It's nice and golden and brown mm -hmm. and the fats out of it. That crispiness and then you can on take, the bottom of the pan looks yeah. scrumptious. And then you can pour this out onto paper towel and remove some of that uh, excess fat from it. Okay. Or you can take it and like do a lot of things with it. You can cook potatoes, add it to yes. your eggs. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. It's yeah. a chef's dream pork fat, right? Save that fat. Exactly. Save that. Save fat. that fat. Exactly. You're so, gonna use it for some for something. Scallops are in here. Yeah. This dish has a lot of black pepper, so I'm just gonna add a lot of black, sorry, a little bit of black pepper to this right now, mm -hmm. just like that. I'm not gonna go ahead and add really too much salt to this dish. We're gonna be adding a lot of Parmesan. Pancetta or the bacon or the guanciale that you're using at home is very, very salty, right? Okay. So we're not going to be adding too much more salt to this dish. Once your spaghetti or is whatever ready. pasta you're using at home is ready, you can see as I squeeze it, it's still got a little bit of rawness. You see that a little bit of? Yeah. I know the camera might be hard to get that. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to move it to this wooden bowl. Okay. Now, when I was taught to make carbonara, I was taught to use a wooden bowl. Okay, because is there any reason why? I believe the reason why is because the conduction of heat is not going to happen. If you use a metal bowl, it might get too hot. Mm -hmm. If you use the pan, you're cooking the pasta in, which a lot of people do, it also might get too hot. Got it. So the wooden bowl, is it just looks classy. If you're doing this at the dinner table, or if, even if you're just doing it for yourself, yeah. like I'll eat out of that bowl. Yeah. It looks like a big bowl, and I'll fill it up, and I'll of eat out of it. Of course you will. Why I don't not? know. I have, I have issues. Why so, waste a dish when you can eat out of the bowl? Exactly. So you see With these, a ladle. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> So we have these it. beautiful base scallops here. Mm -hmm. And if you want to use larger scallops, you can go right ahead. I just think that these are underused base scallops. They're a beautiful thing. I used to make them a lot of ceviches with them, mango yeah. and base scallop and stuff like that. They're just small and they're cute. They cook very quickly. Okay. And you'll notice if you preheat your pan, you'll get a really nice crust on them. For sure. Like this is perfect right here. And this could you can just eat this right away. Now, do they have a different flavor profile than the they larger scallops? They taste just like a scallop. If oh, anything, they all taste the same. They it's taste, the they taste like that sweet, buttery 
watery-ness of a scallop and they're just delicious. So I would highly recommend using these at home. If you get them frozen, defrost yeah. them and lay them out onto paper towels so it absorbs okay. all that moisture that comes out. All right. That's a really big tip. If there's color on anything you're trying to sear, mm -hmm. it's not going to, uh, sorry, if there's moisture in anything you're trying to sear, it's not going to color. It's not going to sear. No, not at all. Not so properly. So this goes right into here just like this. Okay. All our spaghetti, you'll notice that I'm, I'm not draining it because I'm going to have to add even more starch water. Oh. The starch water is what's going to end up thickening this dish, okay? Okay. And into here, we're going... you got going a minute left. To, yeah, that's fine. This dish goes really, really quickly. Okay. Into this, we have our egg yolks that go in. Get all the egg yolks Get in, in there. there. We're going to add in our guanciale. How do you make sure you're pancetta. not actually cooking the egg in because here? Because it's not going to cook at all because oh. it's in the wooden bowl and you need to temper it slowly. Mm -hmm. So I add in more cheese. I add in a ton of cheese. You have more cheese? Mm. Add in a ton of cheese like that and I'm going to add in a splash of this water just like this. Okay. And then as you mix this it creates an emulsification if we can get that on camera. And then you have this creamy carbonara just like that. It's beautiful. While you're nice. doing that I just want to give a shout out uh, to all clad for the cookware. Thank you for that.